my bad for the call. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, another thing about another book you can read on this is too is um another guy that don't get much props in Black history, who did the dirt, who was with the UNIA, the African Blood Brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? The Hamannic Lee's Conference. You know another group that I mean, people don't know about with um uh, George E. Parker. I think he wrote Children of the Sun. You know, so he's off in Nebraska, that area where Malcolm X was born at. You know what I'm saying? Another we want to look at too, where Malcolm X was born at Omaha, Nebraska. That was a a hotbed of political black activity. You know what I'm saying? But that's where Henry Haywood came from, and Henry Haywood wrote in his book, The Black Bolshevik. That you know what I'm saying? He back up what I'm saying. You know, they it don't matter. Only only course of reaction option you have is nationalism, black nationalism. You know what I'm saying? Even in other places overseas, we could just sit and analyze South Africa. You know, South Africa got the the black majority. You know what I'm saying? They still haven't flexed. They trying to flex this rainbow nation that was forced upon them by Mandela. You know what I'm saying? And his cohorts that was above him. You know, the IMF, the World Bank, you know, places like that. And they found out it doesn't work. Only a certain few people was eating off of this. Certain few black people was eating off of this. You know what I'm saying? A very, very small few while the rest was suffering and starving. You know? And with the majority of everything in that they still in the in the fluxes of black nationalism. They don't know what really what to do. Then when you look around at some of these videos I was watching last night about that area of South Africa and stuff like that. Black people have been so colonized, and it's over the same thing over here too. They did it to us over here too, same thing. That we done lost the skill of the Afri of, of big agriculture. You know what I'm saying? We didn't lost the skill of big farming. We didn't lost the skill of, of big, you know, carpentry and all that type of stuff like that, of industrial work. So, even if they do take these farms away from these people, it's still going to be a trial and error thing that still had to be, you know, worked upon. So, things that we need to start doing to, to focus up on is, number one, focusing up on, you know, getting these skills back. That's going to come from an underground level, you know. Read, um... Maurice Bishop, another black guy that you know, the Honorable Maurice Bishop, you know, from Grenada. Read about him in the New Jewel Movement and then read his manifesto. I was reading that today about how stuff got to be. And I got a video on that. You know what I'm saying? Check out on my page, on my YouTube page, um, CLR James um, 79. You know what I'm saying? Um, Akoski Yufunde. And um, he was talking about that stuff. It was on Black Junction TV too, Akoski Yufunde, same name. And he was talking about like, well, you know, to do all this stuff, we got to get rid of the 4A. We got enough here in this community alone that I'm living in right now with all these vacant lots and all these straight houses. We got enough right now to start up our own agricultural program, our own science, our own STEM, our own science and all that stuff, technology, you know, all that stuff like that. We're just using off the vacant land. You know what I'm saying? We don't need their permission to do all this. This is something we can do and we can start right now. We have the power and the ability to do that. And it's in our best self-interest to do these things. But because the leadership is so self-poor and because the organization and the community is lacking, there's nobody really discussing these things. Okay, let's just use a community asset-based economy and let's use what we got to get what we got. You know what I'm saying? It's just like in a game of cards, whatever, spades, poker, whatever. You might have a shitty-ass hand, but you got to work with that. And sometimes with your shitty-ass hands, the way the cards is dealt and the way shit come out, you might win. But you never know if you don't have the, you know what I'm saying, the ego, not egotism, or the ego or self-confidence to go ahead and do these things. You know what I'm saying? That's why you, when you get into black history, that's, you know, proposed and enforced upon us, you know what I'm saying? It always shows as a loser or it shows that we need help. But the reality is, is, is much, much different. You know, when you really read the books and things of that nature, it's much, much different. A lot of times, when, probably about 90% of the times, when we start winning, they heard and did everything they could to jump in front of him. And put up some bug dancing, boot licking, punkified, sissified person, male or female, to control the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Same thing even with Mandela. You know what I'm saying? Same thing, you know. But if you're still believing that this is the way to go and blase splee, just look at Flint, Michigan. I mean, just look at Flint, Michigan. We can go up to I-975 and just look at Flint, Michigan. They still ain't got good water. Now a white guy in Elon Musk would have come in there and start putting in water and stuff like that. You know, but this is stuff that's the station Michigan be doing they die damn so. But this is the game they playing, though. You know what I'm saying? So it makes it look like that, you know, under black leadership, we're inept, even in under their system. 
under black leadership were still baggers. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the reason why, like Thomas Sankare said, another video about the person I do a video on, you know, if you really want to look at imperialism, hey, look at your plate. You didn't grow this food. Look at your clothes. How about these clothes we got on says made from China? We didn't make these clothes. Your school books. Your school books is not written by people by you. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when I started listening and listening and reading this stuff like that, I had come to the thought that, yes, the black community is an internalized colony. You know what I'm saying? I can walk around this little, you know, this radius of the community I'm in. Half of the stores is owned by Arabs or Indians. You know what I'm saying? Down the street from me, there's a Dollar General and there's a uh, family dollar. You know what I'm saying? That's owned by white corporations. Only thing that's owned by black folks around here is this little gambling mark, you know what I'm saying, where they got this little casino. I don't know why he did that for. In the barbershop. And that's not open half the goddamn time. So we got to start thinking about what we're going to do and what we're going to become. We got to develop a strategy. There's nobody sitting down here talking about strategy. There's no talks of it. So while every other group have a strategy, like I said earlier before in this video, that where they doing their own thing, we don't have none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to buy or spend with a person outside their race off rip. They're going to keep their dollars. That's the most important thing to them. They're not going to jump in front of illegal immigrants saying we need to help immigration on the border. It was a story in the Detroit Free Press not too long ago, you know what I'm saying, in uh, 2015, about how the Arabs took over Dearborn and stuff like that, and they was being racist to black folks. Dearborn already itself was a Ku Klux Klan city. You know what I'm saying? Many people don't know that. They had that many things to keep black folks out of Dearborn and stuff like that. You know, through their white mirrors and all their little red line and stuff like that. When the Arabs eventually took the bitch over, you know what I'm saying, and took over all the levels of power, becoming the chief, police chief and all them things like that, you know what I'm saying, through their small business requirements and their small business ownerships, off of 90% of the black people that live around there, you know what I'm saying, they took over that city and just kept on perpetuating the same politics. They don't want to bond with you like that. You know, there's no such thing. Why would you want to be equal to people that don't like you? You know what I'm saying? They're not trying to be equal to us. They they think of that they think of that as a, as a as a bastardification of us trying to you know trying to be equal to them. You know what I'm saying? They can't even see it. While you letting every other race touch your women, you try to touch one of their women. See what happened to you? Oh, they'll kill they'll kill her for even they'll kill her for even considering that. We heard about them little killings out there. They'll kill they'll kill her and burn her damn body for even considering that. Why you want to do every other thing and do everything. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't do that. You can, but this is where it got us to. This is where, that's where we at right now. So we got to focus up and read our African history. Be proud that you're African. You know what I'm saying? Be proud of that. Like Martin Luther King even said that. You should be proud that you're African. You should have race pride. You know what I'm saying? But don't be so bashful and so colonized that you know that you don't that you ain't going to fight for what's yours. You know what I'm saying? That you ain't going to fight for your people. Or that you think that you're better than your people because you get these little pats on the back from the white folks. Or your other or your other colonizers. They don't give a damn about you. They'll find, like, and like Ice Cube said, they'll find a new nigga next year. So, that's just the thought of the day, one of them. You know, hope y'all have a wonderful day. It's been nice out here, you know, enjoying a nice little cool weather. I'm going to do a couple more videos before the day is out. And, um, yeah, just hit me in the inbox. Subscribe to my channel. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if you don't subscribe, just, hey, just drop a comment about what I'm saying. You might have a different opinion. But, you know, as much love. I'm not going to knock you for you if you got a different opinion. As much love. You know what I'm saying? At least you're listening. At least, at least you're being engaged. And that's the first step. You know what I'm saying? Again, towards the steps we need to get to. All right, y'all have a wonderful day. Peace and enjoy.